So, Alien. Um, where do we stand with it? Where do we stand with it? Well, I quite like it. I think it's a good film. I think it's good. I like it. It's good. Hey, kids, sit up and pay attention. It's time for Retrorific. Hello, everyone, <coughs> and welcome back to Retrorific. I was a bit overexcited. Yes, I am a bit overexcited. We can't hear you. We're not in space. <laughs> So, it was the worst <laughs> part ever! Hey! Um, I think one of the things that is a shame about Alien, and it goes the same about a lot of great suspense horror films, mm. is it doesn't stand to the test of time well. When you look back, you're all most people will think of Aliens as their preferred choice when it comes down to this. Mm. Um, at the end of the day, when you watch it for like the 50 billionth time you don't get the same suspense that you got the first time you're never going to get that first suspense that first level of suspense well uh, that's true there's anticipation instead because that's, you're like oh yeah that's it. that's true but at the same time i dare anyone to watch the air vent sequence in a dark room by themselves and not get scared shitless the thing is yes alien is about suspense but it's also about atmosphere. And it doesn't matter how many times you watch the film, you can always get lost in that atmosphere. Yeah, yeah definitely. But it's just that you don't get the shocks that you... You don't get the initial impact after you've seen it a few times. No, that's but true. But you can still appreciate the other layers of... Film. And you don't, you don't get the initial impact either, just because it's a film... If you've not seen it before and you watch it now, um, it would probably seem very predictable. Simply because it's every film, every horror yeah. film since then has copied elements of it. Um, so by today's standards, it seems like a very predictable horror film, when in fact, it was a very unpredictable horror film that set a new standard. I think, yeah, it sounds like the obvious thing, but you've got to hone it on it. The design of that alien is timeless. It's spectacular. It's There's just, just nothing like it. But that's the beauty of it, that's why it's so intimidating. Because there is nothing like it. It's like it's like it's, it's got like a cockroach for its head and claws and a long tail which looks like it'd be from a scorpion or maybe a snake and And a giant penis of death. Oh yeah, the, the back mouth. of the head. No, no, the back of the head as well. The 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 back of the head is shaped like a giant penis. I didn't think of that as a phallic reference. No, it's true, it is. Um I, I will show you a picture later. Look at a picture of the alien head. There. I've got one. Well, yeah, yeah. we've got one right here. There's on a penis on his chest. You see, that is a penis right there. Um, in fact, the film is loaded. Yourself, the film is loaded with penises and vaginas. For example, you know the bit when they're getting into the crashed spaceship at the beginning. Um, to like the the hole that they go in through is just a massive vagina. You really haven't had sex in a while, have you? Um... No, it's there. It was designed that way. I have to say, there's one shot in it that always terrifies me, and that's um, uh, when they're in the alien spaceship. And the shot of the alien. The, oh, the, 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 alien. With the close up of its face. Yeah. Just as they walk away, the camera zooms in on this kind of half obscured face of a dead alien, and it's just the creepiest image. Mm. Like when I first saw that, the thing is that sets you ago, up. You that think, stuck with me for a long time. The thing is, you think like when you ha when you haven't been exposed to the culture, you think, oh right, where's this alien race going to come into it? You kind of get the feeling that you wonder if they're going to pop up. They don't. It's beautiful. So it means that the design that you get, which is even more sick and twisted, just takes you by surprise. Mm. Um, but it's just scary how much influence that what that one design has had through. You know, it, every element of this film has had influence. Then it's created horror. Like you said, it has created modern horror. Mm. And it, also, it's just got some beautiful images in it. You know, talking mm. about the design. Like, there's one particular image which just gets me every time. And it's a, it's a really distant shot of the, um, of the Nostromo mm. passing in front of the alien planet. And it's just, like, 
You just don't get stuff like that in cinema no, these days. It's, yeah, you, it's incredible. You don't get any sense of scale in in space anymore. Mm. That's one thing that I loved about Alien when the first time I saw it. And that it, ship that. is fucking massive as well. Yeah. It's huge. It's like, and what I like about it as well is that again, you're talking about the sort of the the kind of chaotic design of it. Mm. The design of that spaceship just doesn't look like anything. I mean, again, even in Star Wars, the base the spaceships has a sort of basic design, like you know, they're, they very, have, they're either triangles yeah. or they're circles, or you know, Star Trek, you've got glorified flying saucers with rockets strapped. Exactly. Them. Yeah. But if you look at the Nostromo in Alien, what the fuck does that look like? It looks like nothing you've ever it, seen. It's kind of like, in a really weird way, an abstract city. Should we move on from the franchise briefly? Should we touch on it? Uh, if you want to, yeah, go for it. Um, I do like the progression you get from film to film. How it is just one straight story. Mm. I, um, I did read an interesting point recently that um, if Alien 3 had been the second film and then Aliens had been the third film, it would have worked a lot better because you would have had a much more natural progression. I, you know I argue this point. Mm. Alien 3 is probably my favourite out of the films. Oh, me too, to be honest. Um, I'm absolutely with you there. It, in Aliens is the most mindless of the films. That's not saying it doesn't have its place. That's no, it's, it's, it's a, a great film. film. It is a cracking it, good film. It's one of the best siege movies of all time. Mm. Um, it's also far more, in terms of visual effects, scary. But I think Alien 3 wins in terms of psychologically affecting. Yeah, because Alien 3 is just so relentlessly bleak. And I think this is where mm. The problem with Alien 3, at the same time, is it draws a definite ending to that story. Mm. And Resurrection tries just that little bit too hard to pick it up. To be honest, I think Resurrection could have easily been made without Ripley. Yeah, so do I. But then you lose Sigourney Weaver. Mm. Not necessarily, actually. There are ways of... And in date, Resurrection is always going to be one of those things that people are going to argue back and forth. Mm. Everyone knows Joss Whedon's description of it, don't they? That's not the Whedon wank coming in, that's just fact. Check it out at some point, it's fantastic writing. Mm. But at the end of the day, it tackles some brilliant concepts. Yeah. It just doesn't manage it to It doesn't quite get there. Yeah. It, it's a real shame that, that it could have easily been greater. It's the greatest in ambition. Definitely the greatest ambition. Yeah. It just never quite makes it to exactly what it wants to do. Same way as a cop out with the aliens not getting to Earth, it's a cop out with all its. Yeah, if, if I may sort of things. sum up the series, in my opinion, yeah. the way I see it, Alien 1, excellent groundbreaking science fiction horror, just like rewrote all of the rules for science fiction and horror. Yeah. Um, aliens. Really daring film, taking a horror film and turning it into an action film, um, has incredible balls to do that and actually pulls it off really well. Alien 3, just an excellent, bleak, gothic horror film, my favourite of the four. And Alien Resurrection um, has some fantastic moments in it, some really excellent bits, but on the whole doesn't work as well as a film. It's a film full of ideas with no execution. Yeah. But it's got some cracking good ideas in there, and there are some really great scenes in I it. I love the scene where she finds her band and expect the expect. Yeah, the that is a that her. is an amazing scene. It, it, it just feels you just feel disgusted. Plus yeah. Ron Perlman. I mean, that's always a good Ron thing. Ron Perlman is awesome. Yeah. He's awesome source. And, and you know, I quite like Winona Ryder. I think she's. She's a little thief. She's a little thief. Still stuff. Bitch. To wrap up though on what we were talking about, the first Alien film, excellent film, worth checking out. Um, you probably have done already. Yeah, the only, th <laughs> the only advice that I could give anyone who hasn't watched it yet is just try to put yourself in the mindset of someone seeing it for the first time. Try to imagine that you don't know what it's about and try to forget all of the cultural references that you've seen to Alien because that will improve your experience. Yeah, definitely. Um, wear nappies if you're watching it for the first time. Yeah, because it's fucking scary. Yeah. 
Um, we're not going to do a next time next for this one because we never. No, never, no, no we, we are. Ever. Next time we're going to do we, nine. We did no. Ever. No. We're going to mention that. This is over. This is barter.